So if you're trying to become a SOC analyst and are looking for practical hands-on experience, by the end of this video, you'll have 10 sites that you can use to level up your skills on investigations, detections, tooling, and many more. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Steven, and I've been in the cybersecurity industry, specifically within the security operations domain, for over half a decade. And I have interviewed a lot of candidates, and the one thing that most of them do not have is unfortunately, hands-on experience. These 10 sites that I'm going to share with you is going to give you those hands-on experience that many lack and will make you stand out from others. Starting with number one, Cyber Defenders. Cyber Defenders offers a lot of variety when it comes to labs. There are some that offer network forensics, endpoint, malware, reverse engineering, and even threat intelligence. They offer a free and paid plan, so you can try them out for free. Personally, I do use this quite often to help me build up my skills, especially when I was trying to transition from a SOC analyst to a DFER consultant. Number two, Blue Team Level 1 Labs. This platform has a lot of labs available for you to choose from. They have two types of trainings. One is called Investigation and the other is called Challenges. The difference between the two is that Investigations will provide you with a browser-based virtual machine. So that means that you can start playing around even if your computer does not have enough resources. Now, if your computer does have enough resources, you can try out the challenges where you'll be able to download the lab artifacts and then open them up in your own virtual machine. Number three, let's defend. I highly recommend this platform to anyone who is looking for a simulated SOC environment. Let's defend allows you to get a taste of what you can expect in a SOC by providing you with alerts that will allow you to triage and investigate. They also have challenges that you can spin up in their own browser-based virtual machine and even quizzes to test your knowledge in specific areas. Pretty cool stuff. Number four, try HackMe. Probably one of the more popular platforms in cybersecurity, especially for red teamers, those who are interested in hacking and risk assessment. However, over the course of years, try HackMe and the community has developed a lot of blue team SOC related labs aka rooms that will help guide you in learning a particular skill. A pretty neat feature that TryHackMe offers is called King of the Hill, where you get to join a lobby with up to 10 players, and the objective is to defend and attack a machine. Number five, Hack the Box. Similar to TryHackMe, this is another popular platform for red teamers. I mean, hack is literally part of the name. But just like Try Hack Me, Hack the Box over the years have created amazing blue team related challenges. And the one that I want to point out is called Sherlock Challenges. These are investigative challenges that have you acting as a defender and your objective is to determine what had happened post compromise. Seriously, try this out if you want to test your skills. Number six, Range Force. One of the lesser known platforms in my opinion, but they are still pretty good. Rangeforce has over 16 hours of free content where you'll get to learn about incident response, reverse engineering, phishing, and emerging threats, all of which are great skills to have. Number seven, Ace Responder. Similar to Rangeforce, one of the more lesser known platforms but offer rich content when it comes to blue team related labs. Now, the downside here is that all but one lab requires a subscription, so unless you plan on paying, you might want to look elsewhere. They also provide videos that do a fantastic job on demonstrating how attacks work. So if you're ever curious and want to learn more about it, and you're a visual learner, this might be a great resource to have. Number eight, malware traffic analysis. Packet captures or it didn't happen. Network analysis is one of those skills that can and will set you apart. If you wanted to see how malicious traffic looks like on the network, well, malware traffic analysis is the site to use. This site is hosted by Brad Duncan, who is a threat intelligence analyst over at Palo Alto. And with his incredible work, this site gets updated with new and interesting malware pretty often. What this means is that you get to stay on top of emerging threats, and who knows? You might even encounter something similar in your environment. And if you do, well, you'll know how to analyze it. Number nine, KC7. If you have never heard of KC7, well, you are in for a treat. KC7 makes cybersecurity training fun. Not only is their platform free, but they have you use KQL, Custo Query Language, which is what Microsoft Azure uses. 
What this means is that by using the platform, you'll get to level up your skills in KQL, allowing you to sift through data quickly, construct complex queries, and eventually putting this onto your resume as one of your skill sets, which is quite beneficial since a lot of modern socks nowadays use KQL. Last but not least, number 10, DefBox. This platform is pretty new. I mean, look at the created date of the domain, which is back in August 17th, 2023, less than a year ago as of recording. And if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I love building projects and investigating post-compromise activities using various tools. However, that requires a lot of setup and preparation. But with DefBox, you can get started right away. DefBox allows you to spin up a virtual machine that includes a sim already built in and includes the data set within it so you can start querying and get familiar with the logs. The cool part about DefBox is that with a click of a button, you'll get to generate attack telemetry. So you don't even need to spin up Atomic Red Team or Caldera. This does it all for you. As a new up and coming platform, I would highly recommend that you give DefBox a try and see if this is something that you might enjoy compared to the other sites that I've provided. At the end of the day, everyone's learning style is different. So one site might not fit your needs compared to the others. And this is why I decided to provide you with 10 sites. So now you have a nice variety to choose from. A lot of individuals trying to get into cybersecurity and become a SOC analyst only have theory in their back pocket. This is simply not enough. You must get comfortable being uncomfortable and take on challenges that will push you to your limits. If you ever get stuck, research and find write-ups on how a certain task was completed. On my channel, I have walkthroughs for some of the labs that you can follow along with, and I'll be including a lot more in the future. That is it for the video, and I hope that you found that informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.